Hello. Okay, we're going to do another night auto tune. This time we're on the FPV uh, 250 here. Um, it's running a Creus all in one board version 2.0. Uh, this board for me has been notoriously unreliable on Mega Pirate Next Generation 3.0 uh, and its ilk. Uh, so we're going to see how well it performs here while well, we're. Uh, on this custom version of Argicopter 3.1.5 where we've actually used the um, Mega Pirate Next Generation hardware extraction. Alright, arm successfully. Let's take off. Let's fix the buzzer on the bottom. Try and keep it in frame for most of this auto tune here. Let's see how well I do with that. Halfway through, it's going to switch to pitch. We're going to bring it in a little closer here. Okay, auto, auto tune is such that you need to actually keep piloting in between the, the tuning steps a little bit to, to avoid obstacles. You can see it doesn't move too much or too long, but in the wind, it can drift in the direction that it's tuning significantly. Looks like we may have just finished auto tune. Let's bring it over and see if it wants to move around anymore. Nope. Okay. Now we've finished an auto tune. You can see it takes about five minutes. In order to save those settings, you need to land with auto tune still enabled. And disarm. Now at that point, I can turn 
auto tune off. And that's a successful auto tune on a Creus All in One version 2, uh, running Argicopter 3.1.5. Um, it's running really, really good actually, better than Mega Pirate does for me, so uh, good so far. We're going to keep flying it and uh, see how stable it is.